Hi, I'm Siem Hafmans. I work at Partners for Innovation. Yeah, when I came here, I bought a nice cookie and yeah, the packaging uh, seduced me to buy it. And then yeah, really something strange happened because at the moment I opened it, uh, the value was lost and I was left over with some problem. Uh, I had some waste and there was no waste bin, so I had to find a waste bin to get rid of that problem. Sometimes accidentally that uh, packaging might become litter if I drop it somewhere. And even worse, it might be blown into the, the water and then end up maybe at the end in the plastic soup somewhere in the oceans. So that's the bigger problem behind packaging. And uh, that's as designers, we have a big challenge to, to solve that in the future. Yeah, packaging is of course has brought us a lot of advantages because packaging is, is protecting the product. Uh, it's keeping your food fresh. It saves food waste also. It gives you information about the product and it also seduces consumers to buy it. So it has a lot of reasons why we use packaging. In my opinion, uh, the, the designer of this packaging did a very good job for his client because uh, yeah, he seduced me to, to buy this, this cookie. So I think they're, they're happy about that. But they did a bad design for society, I think, because I was also left with a problem. And when it becomes litter or even plastic soup, uh, society has a big problem with that empty packaging because the, the, the value of that empty packaging is maybe less than a cent. So nobody will bother to, to pick it up from the ground. Or, and so the society or the, the, the local government has to clean up and that might cost up to 50 cents for every packaging they have to pick up. So that's a large uh, negative cost, so to say. And when it ends up in the ocean, it might be even more expensive to clean up the ocean. That might end up two euros to get that piece of plastic out of the ocean. Uh, I wrote a book uh, about, uh, it's called Products That Flow, and it's about fast moving consumer goods, such as packaging, disposables, uh, fashion, and also food. So I think uh, designers have to uh, work on a more sustainable and circular way. So you don't have to design only the, 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 the packaging, but also the whole cycle in which the packaging is functioning. Because it's not only about the design, it's also about business models or business opportunities. And in the book we describe several opportunities. Uh, and the main uh, learning is that we have to use that negative value of litter or even plastic soup uh, to invent a system where we can use that because you're preventing waste you can use that value also in your to to fuel your system for recycling and collecting and sorting and everything that has to be done to make that packaging into something new so you always have to check first can i make a product last longer you can make a reusable bottle or you uh, wash your coffee cup but there are certain situations where you need uh, uh, products with a short lifetime and that's inevitable so you have to make a design which fits that situation for example why are we using disposables if you have a party uh, can we do it in a different way so that's always a basic question and the preferable answer would be something uh, a product that lasts longer or maybe you don't even need uh, disposables <laughs>